Welcome to Studio Sundays. It's that time of the week where we do some fun, arty crap. Yes, Jackson, that's what we're doing. Some fun, arty crap. (laughs) So what we're going to do today is do some drawing exercises. What I've been finding recently is it's quite difficult with not going out and not, you know, having that inspiration that kind of comes to you while you're doing your daily bits and bobs. Um, so I thought what I'd do is loosen myself up a little bit by doing some little drawing exercises. And I thought I'd show you guys how to do it and drag you along with me. So all you're gonna need for these drawing exercises is a pen and a piece of paper or a pencil and piece of paper. Basically just something to draw with and make marks with and something to make marks on. So you could use paint, you can use pens. In this video, I've mainly used pencil and pen. So go and grab yourself some materials and let's get started. Oh my God, I really sound like a mad radio host. Oh my God, let's just get going. So these are some of the materials that I use when I'm doing my drawing exercises. You've got black fine liners. I do have rubber in there, but try not to use it. I've got pencils and different colored fine liners. I also use pink pens as well. These are Posca pens. To use them, you just pump them and then the liquid comes through. I also have the Pilot metallic um, paint pens as well. They're very strong. Make sure you open a window when you're using them. And then also calligraphy pens, great for doing writing. They have a fab chisel tip. So the first task that I'm gonna do is called Word Stack. You're gonna have three stacks of cards and on these cards, you're gonna have equal amounts of nouns, verbs, and adjectives. And the whole point of it is you take one from each pile and that forms what you're going to be drawing so i'm using randomwordgenerator.com to generate my words so what you do here is you just select your word type and press generate so pan so i'll do my nouns first So the first, but critical, right, and realize. So I'm going to move these cards to the top now. I'm just using some sugar paper. And I think I'm going to start with pencil. So what I've actually drawn here, I've been recently listening to Rebecca, like the audio book. It's one of my favorite books of all time. And I've literally just finished the audio book. So I've got it quite in my head. And what I thought, this is a very critical part of the book. It's a very critical moment um, where one of the characters realizes something and she writes something to somebody. So that was the instant thought. I'm not spending much time on these because at the end of the day, it's supposed to be like a drawing exercise. So it's like quick, boom, 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 boom. So that is the first one that I've done. So I'm just turning this over and you're using the other side. Again, not to like waste paper. So I'm gonna put those to one side. Pan, so reverse, pan, <gasps> taboo. So for this particular one, I had taboo, pan and reverse. So pan, I thought at first, I thought about a pan, like an actual, like a frying pan. But then I thought of Peter Pan, which is my favourite Disney film. 
And I always think it's quite taboo that they always have like a middle-aged woman playing Peter Pan on stage. Or maybe not middle-aged, maybe like my age, which is practically middle-aged. So I always think that's quite weird. So what I thought instead was I'd actually draw, which when I look at these women playing Peter Pan, I always think it kind of looks like a lost girl. So it's like Wendy, Wendy the lost girl. So it's like in reverse rather than Wendy being the savior. You've got um, Wendy as she is like the heroine of the story and she's telling the kids to come and join the Lost Girls, the tribe of Lost Girls. Okay, so what am I going to pick next? Uh, monk. Drink. Meek. So here I had meek, drink and monk. So when I always think of the word monk, I always think punk and I always think of book fast. And when I think of the word meek, I always think of like meek like a mouse. So here I've drawn a little mouse dressed up like a monk drinking book fast. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's actually drank book fast. It literally just tastes like undiluted cordial and it's awful absolutely awful so the next thing i'm going to do is automatic drawing and i thought it might be fun to use some of these pens that i have these are just um staedtler fine liners in um, the tri plus fine liners you can get them at most like good art start shops and like you can get them at places like um oh what's it called what's that place called the not the work the works the works you can get them at places like that so I thought what I'd do is I'd just choose three colours. And I've actually got a little bit of masking tape. And what I thought I would do is tape the three pens together and do my marks that way. Okay. And all you're going to do really is just start to make marks. Oh, they are not at the right angle oh that's interesting because sometimes when you lift up you're not getting them all at the same that's not making sense what i'm trying to say is you're not they're not all hitting the paper at the same time Untying the pens now and starting to just make some of the marks. So automatic drawing, it's all about suppressing your subconscious control and just letting go. Sometimes when I stare at a white page or I'm about to make a painting, the fear of even making a mark is so great that it, it kind of is very overwhelming and you don't end up like sort of doing maybe exactly what you want and you're so fearful about making those marks. Where little like things like this, where you are just carelessly making marks, you're not thinking about what you're doing, it helps kind of alleviate that fear and that kind of like overwhelming overwhelming sense of mark making so what i'm going to do here is an exercise where you're drawing lines and again it's just trying to get you out of the conscious decision making so the only conscious decision you're making is i'm drawing lines that's it doesn't matter where they go how long they are um directions if they cross it over you're just going to be making lines And then you end up with something like this. So you've just got loads of different lines going all different ways. I used three different colours 
and then sometimes you can even like come in the middle of the shapes and start filling some of the shapes with straight lines again you just decide which ones that you want to fill so this is basically your, your doodling and doodling is actually really really great for you it helps you concentrate it can help sort of with creative blocks which is the purpose that i am using it for it's a good little creative outlet as well like i was saying before you know if you are just feeling like you want to draw but there's so there's too much pressure in what you're actually drawing just come in and sit in and just doodling with no pressure it can really really help your mental health and especially in times like this, where you just can't be bothered with all of the horribleness that is going on outside. And you wanna come and you wanna sit in your nice little cozy corner of the world and forget what's going on outside. Come and sit and doodle. Even if you think there's no point in it, you just come and sit and doodle. It's a really good stress alleviator, that's what I find. So you can sit and you might be so angry at an argument with someone, or you might have just got some bad news. It's a good way to just sit and process your thoughts. I find it really helpful. I think I'm gonna to need to buy some of these new pens. They are nearly running out. That is a dead pen. That's the thing is I'm not really drawing anything in particular. I'm just making marks. I'm not trying to make a masterpiece. It's very freeing. There are no rules. You just do what you want to do. You are in charge. You are the master in this universe. I decide exactly where my lines are going to go. You see, you can just sit there and like put a podcast on or put some music on or listen to an audio book. That's what I am doing right now is like I am drawing and listening to my audio books. Also, I just put a film on and just sit here and do this. And the more you do this, the more confident you'll become in your own practice. Because we're so used to working solo now, the thought of going back into a public studio is very nerve wracking. Last time. I was in the studio, I went to the studio briefly last October for two two days spread over two weeks and it just all got a bit much, really. But I can't wait till it can be back to normal and we can get back into studio culture. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna do the same as before where I'm starting off drawing my lines but I'm gonna use some more fancier materials so I'm using a Posca paint pen to lay down the baselines but then I am gonna go over it with a silver pilot pen these are super metallic super jazzy they're amazing I absolutely love them so let's see how that goes
I also thought it'd be quite fun to start filling some of the areas in as well. So as you can see here, I've started like coloring in some of the circles, some of the triangular shapes that I've made. And here we go with the pilot pen. This elevates it so much. I mean, this is literally simple blue sugar paper, a black paint pen, and this silver pen, because it's so metallic and so bright, it just makes it look amazing. I love these pens. They just remind me of being five years old and writing my Christmas cards out. But like I said at the start of the video, make sure you do open a window when you are doing this. They do give off quite an odor and you can end up with quite a headache. I ended up with a bit of a headache after using these. That is the end of our video today. I hope that you have taken something away from it. You're able to loosen yourself up if you're struggling to you know find your creativity in these like really difficult times it has really helped me and for next week's episode i am going to be doing some really fab watercolor demonstrations and uh, messing around with things like salt to try and see what the effects are on the backgrounds so that's going to be a really fun tutorial i'm really looking forward to doing that and again if you've got any suggestions or you'd like me to like review something or you want to learn something by all means let me know stay safe guys and you take care see you next week. Love you. Bye.